Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with the third part of my massive perfume haul. We've got in here 15, 16, something like that. Uh, probably like 16 fragrances. We're gonna have some very affordable ones. We're gonna have some more expensive ones, but they're just amazing. Literally everything that I've got in here, it's amazing. And we have lots of underrated perfumes. Like nobody talks about them. Uh, and I don't understand why, because first of all, they're super affordable, and second, they just smell amazing. So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now, let's jump in. Like I've said, I've got lots of fragrances in here, so I'm gonna try to go as quick as possible through all of them. Uh, before we start, obviously, the first and the second part, um, I'm gonna leave the links in the description box. And today, I'm super, super excited for today because I am going to watch Barbie. Today's Friday, I'm gonna post this video tomorrow on Saturday, but I'm going to watch Barbie and this top is actually from the Zava, you know, Barbie collection. It actually says summary here. I'm not sure if you can see it. It says Barbie. I'm super excited. I've tried. I've tried to get the fragrance, but it was completely sold out. Like the Zara that I have, it was completely sold out, but I found the body oil. They had a tester for the fragrance. I've tested the fragrance and I managed to get the last body oil. This one was literally underneath a pile of clothes, but not in the Barbie section, in the sales section. Probably someone was hiding it, was, I don't know, trying to purchase it later. I found it and I got it. It was literally the last one. Um, obviously it's not the fragrance, but it smells exactly like the fragrance. I'm not gonna put it on now because can you see just how glittery that thing is? For me, if you can find the fragrance, I'm still trying. I've been to Zara every single day since that collection launched and they don't have any left. This one, okay, let's put it on the skin. First of all, can you see just how glittery it is? It's kind of like a bluish purple glitter at first i was like mm, i'm not sure about that but literally if you rub it into the skin you need to rub it like a lot this for a night out is gonna look amazing anyway the scent everyone when they saw the notes they thought that this one is gonna smell like love don't be shy from killian and i would say yes but for me, this one smells way more similar to Oriana from Parfum du Marly. The difference is this one has this, it's a bit more musky and more like dusty in a way. Not necessarily powdery, but more like dusty. The body oil and the fragrance, literally, they kind of perform the same. So obviously I don't have the fragrance in here, but I remember it was not like the biggest projector. It's not like Oriana is the biggest projector, but... I feel like Oriana it's brighter and you can smell the notes properly and like that raspberry, that chantilly cream. This one smells beautiful, like don't get me wrong, like for 20 pounds, I think it's 20 pounds, the fragrance and then the body oil was 9.99. It smells good, like it smells good. It's not like an exact dupe, but it reminds me like 75% of like Oriana from Parfum du Marly, it's more like candied, it gives you that like Barbie vibe, you know? It's more like Oriana, but more like in a fun Barbie way. I actually really like it. I'm still on the hunt, okay, to get the fragrance. If you got the fragrance, lucky you, lucky you. I don't know how you managed to do that. Uh, but yeah, I do like it. Obviously, do not, please do not purchase it. I've seen it on eBay for like 90 pounds. It's ridiculous, it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm sure and I hope they're gonna restock it, uh, but they, they must restock it. Like it's impossible to, that they sold out after the first day, it's impossible just to have that stock. Like I'm sure they're gonna produce more. It's good, it's good. I do like it, I do really like it. I'm happy with the body oil as well. I wish I had a fragrance, but I don't. Now, let's move on, let's finish with Barbie. Again, I'm so, so excited. I'm going today to watch the movie. Anyway, let's move on to the fragrances. Uh, what um, I wanted to show you. Oh, I mentioned this one in a previous video. This one is Rio Carnaval uh, from 77 cents. You know, it's that like indie small business that I found on Etsy. 
this is so good it's so freaking delicious i don't know the notes okay I'm, like i said i'm trying to get this video done extremely quickly so i'm not gonna tell you about the notes or anything like that just like a quick brief okay if you know more details probably i'm gonna mention these fragrances in other videos but this one is pistachio and i'm getting coconut and then i'm getting this like lemon lime it's so much fun it's so freaking delicious and so amazing and for the price this is a 30 ml bottle and i think this one was 20 something pounds less than 25 around 25 pounds something like that it's so amazing like literally this going on holiday is gonna smell amazing i love creme de pistache that one is definitely more thicker that is like dense thick this one it's fun it has that i don't know something citrusy lemon lime something like that and then the coconut and the pistachio is delicious it's amazing you need you need to try this fragrance rio carnaval from 77 cents honestly you need to try this uh what else do we have let me have a look right let's should we finish with like the affordable ones let's try to do that we have from shabu i think this is how you pronounce it this one is le concentré uh, basically concentrated milk and it literally smells like sweet concentrated milk you probably already know that i have le et biscuit um that one i've purchased like before anything and i really 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 like that one so i decided to bring this brand on the website so we're gonna have le biscuit that one is definitely my favorite but we're gonna have uh, the next two that i'm gonna talk about as well on the website it's an affordable brand uh we're gonna have 30 ml we're gonna have 100 ml like 100 ml is less than 100 pounds which is great especially for niche and especially when designer prices like increase so so much it literally smells like sweet sweet milk it kind of gives me you know when you have um rice like rice and milk it doesn't smell like rice but that like sweetened milk it's so freaking delicious you need to like milk like if you don't like milk you're absolutely gonna hate this one because it literally smells like milk but if you're looking for like a literal gourmand that smells like milk but is that too sweet like very realistic milk this is gonna be for you and the next one oh i love the other one as well le et chocolat milk and chocolate for me it literally smells like you put some chocolate biscuits not just biscuits chocolate biscuits again in milk or like chocolate cereals in milk yes chocolate cereals and milk this is what i'm getting from this one you know the nesquik uh, cereals you put that in milk this is the scent it's so good and it's milky in the same time it has like cold milk you know because like i know it's like cold cereal milk it's delicious it's amazing honestly like i know how they're doing it uh but they really they're really really capturing that scent obviously like i said i have le biscuit as well and that one just smells like milk and biscuits um yeah they're just amazing for the price and just <sighs> I mean, i'm still smelling that you know that zara fragrance the barbie one i do really like it i need the bottle let me spray this on the skin as well oh it's so good it's so good it's so freaking delicious you know how much obviously i love chocolate but this whole milk thing i love it it's not musky because i hate when they're going it's like it says it's milk but it's just musk it's not musky it's just mercy milk anyway let's move on uh what else we have more affordable oh we have a berry scent that you need you need to try from omg this one it's berry floor i have mentioned this one in a previous video i had a sample of it again delicious this is rose and some vanilla and it has plum i don't understand how it has just plum and doesn't have berries in it because i can smell some berries as well this what i'm getting from this fragrance it's 
rose and berries and plum. It's sweet, it's still a perfume from that rose, but it's not like, it's not a jammy rose. The rose is sweet, but it's not a jammy rose. It's like the fruits are sweet and juicy. It's the type of gourmand that is gourmand, but it's still very perfumey. It's still floral. It doesn't smell just like food, just like it's not a literal gourmand. Oh, it's so good. And the bottles, to be honest with you, when I saw the bottles online, I was like, eh, but this cap, it's so adorable in real life. Like, you can't really see it. It's, it's just adorable in real life. Anyway, it's so good. And this thing is strong. Like, this thing is strong. I was not expecting it. I was not expecting it to be this strong. But this thing is strong. It's delicious. It's and I love the, the purple, like, juice. and it's, It smells like the juice. Like, look at that juice. Look at that purple juice. It literally smells just like that. Uh, so yeah, Berry Floor from OMG, um, it's a good, good, good rose berry scent and I don't have anything like this in my collection because I have lots and lots and lots of rose fragrances in my collection but I don't have anything like that. Now, okay, let's move on. Uh, I have one more in here that it's also like a floral fruity, that smells amazing. This one is Nuit de la Tentacion, I think, from Maisa. This one actually comes in a set. You're getting the fragrance and then you're getting like a red lipstick. Listen, I love the color of the lipstick. Like I know I never feature, look at that color. Just look at that color. I know I don't feature uh, makeup on my, uh, on my channel, but I love that color. Anyway, the fragrance. You know that I love Maisa. I love their bottles as well because come on, how satisfying is that? This fragrance, What I'm getting is iris, okay, and then it has rhubarb, and then it has tangerine as well, and a little bit of raspberry. It has other notes, I don't know exactly what the other notes are, but this is what I'm mainly getting. Might have some white flowers as well, might have some white flowers, but for me the strongest notes are the iris, the rhubarb, and the like orangey tangerine. It's it's very sexy, but not in an obvious way, if that makes sense. When you think of sexy fragrances, you feel like very, very dark perfumes. This one is not necessarily dark. You can definitely wear it like all year round, day, uh, daytime, nighttime. But it just has something that mm, gives you that, you know? Beautiful fragrance. And... The bottle, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you can tell by the bottle, you can tell by the whole presentation that this is a sexy fragrance. You can find this one on, I'm not sure if it's available, I'm gonna double check on the fifth cent because I have a coupon code with them. Uh, if it's available in the, I'm gonna leave obviously in the description box. Uh, if not, I think it should be obviously, it should be available on their official website, on the Maisa website. But this is good. This is sexy. But again, sexy, but not in an obvious way. It's not, it's not trying too hard to be sexy. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so, Nuit de la Tentacion from Maisa. Now, 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 let's move on. Oh my God, I have so many things in here. Okay, on the floor, we're going here. Right. I've discovered a new brand. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I need this on my website. Nobody talks about it. Literally, nobody. But I was so impressed by how good the quality is of the fragrance, how good they smell, okay? The quality of them, like lasting power, sillage, everything. The bottles, the boxes, and the price. I'm talking about O Demo. Uh, they have four fragrances. I've decided to bring only three on my website just because the fourth one is very dark and I feel like it's not necessarily appropriate for this weather. Probably that one is going to come... Um, later on in like fall winter this is lean i'm gonna start with my favorite one okay so this is the box inside you have another box that looks like a book and then when you open it you're gonna have your fragrance in here this is the bottle like look at the details also in here you have everything like engraved and then that is the bottle it's an 80 ml bottle and this one is how much is this one 95 pounds 
95 pounds for a niche fragrance that smells incredible and it has amazing presentation amazing box bottle everything so that's why like the bottle is not a cheap bottle it's a heavy bottle okay the cup i was gonna say is i would not say is the heaviest but it's not a cheap cup either but the bottle is usually heavy i was extremely impressed because i was i was not expecting this to cost only 95 pounds lean you're gonna love lean okay you are gonna love lean it's unisex okay i'm getting definitely getting some like pineapple i don't know the notes exactly but i'm getting this like saffron maybe pineapple with some lime something along it, it reminds me slightly of lamar from kajal reminds me so slightly it has that bakara rouge but just slightly heaviness okay and then you're getting this fruity lemony cocktail but it's not necessarily sweet that's why i'm saying that it's unisex this projects and it lasts on the skin i'm obsessed with it and my boyfriend is obsessed as well like we we tested all of them and he was like that's amazing and i was like yes i know that's my favorite as well like we're well, definitely gonna show this bottle okay this is this is good this is super summery but in the same time it doesn't give you just holiday vibes okay you can definitely wear this one to work you can definitely wear this, this one to you like your everyday you know day-to-day -day life it's so good the next one i would say that one is perfectly perfectly unisex the next one it's Amal. Amal is more feminine, if you ask me. Let me spray it in here. Amal, you need to like yellow flowers because it has a very, very strong ylang lang note. Might be a bit of amber in there as well. I don't know, it's like condensed yellow flowers with a bit of maybe has some vanilla and some amber definitely has some amber in it see i didn't look up for the notes i just wanted to record this video so i can go and watch barbie this one is way more feminine if you ask me this is the type of fragrance that is going to smell absolutely amazing if you go on like an exotic destination or i know not necessarily exotic like somewhere bougie as well for me, yellow flowers can go either super exotic or super bush. You know how I was telling you that Ilangin Gold for me smells like Monte Carlo? This one gives me, doesn't smell like Ilangin Gold by any means, but it gives me the same picture. Oh, it's beautiful. And the last one, and I love the work art on the bottles, and honestly, and you can, I love that. I love that. When they're not falling. You, you've probably already seen my uh, updated. I've updated perfume collection and you've seen how many bottles uh, I grabbed them from the cup and they were just like on the floor the last one is Tariq 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 I really like in the opening but absolutely love in the dry down this is a lavender scent again it has that it's more masculine this one I would say uh, from the three of them this one is the most masculine it definitely has something fresh but that lavender, it's so calming, so relax relaxing. And then my favorite part, like I said, is the dry down. In the dry down, I'm not sure, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it has something a bit aromatic. It's not as, it's still refreshing, but it's a bit more lavender, aromatic type of scent. So I feel like if you like things like Rehab from Initio, you are going to fall in love with this one. Obviously, I know that it's a new brand. I know that uh, probably you never heard anyone talking about them. So that's why um, we're going to have some samples available as well on the website. But you need to try this brand. Honestly, I was that impressed. I will not bring on my website. It's my website. I'm paying for these fragrances, you know. Um, I will not bring on my website houses that I, know, I don't like or perfumes I don't like. Like, what would be the point? Just why? But this, I, I was very, very impressed with the whole presentation. And... The first one, lean. Listen, you need to try this, okay? 
you just need to try this fragrance uh, so yeah Odemo amazing house you need to try it uh what else do we have in here oh my god i have so many let's move on let's move on something that again i didn't even have the time to do a proper video because it's already sold out contralto contralto from sospiro here here is a whole presentation here is the box i'm loving this one oh my it starts i don't know the notes again it starts zesty lemony but then the dry down is the most comfy and does it have sandalwood i'm not sure what it has but whatever this perfume has it's so cozy and so amazing i i feel like yes all of the other ones are super fruity and all of that and i love them but this one is just something special about it people are comparing this one to Le Labo Santal 33. I never liked anything from Le Labo, okay? So I can't, I generally can't remember how that fragrance smells like. But I had a massive discovery kit that I got at Exans and I was retesting everything. And I sprayed this one. I like the opening, but then when I got to the dry down, I was like, what? I didn't purchase this for my website. So immediately I placed an order for this one as well. It's already sold out. Like in 24 hours, it, it was sold out. I can't really tell you exactly when it's gonna come back in stock. Um, I'm working on it, okay? I'm hoping in a few weeks it's gonna be back in stock, but this is incredible. Oh, it's it, it's just amazing, honestly, it's just amazing. Um, Contralto from Suspiro, yeah, it's good. It's good, good, good. What we have next? Oh, we have from Cupid, I actually have two perfumes. One of them, I don't have it on the website because I feel like it's too dark and too strong uh for this time of year but i'm gonna feature it in here uh this one is sony 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 is that dreams in italian i'm pretty sure it's dreams in italian this is the presentation standard cupid presentation this is strong okay like let me spray it in here this is very strong uh you are gonna get some cedar you're gonna get some saffron you are gonna get rose for sure and then it has a fruitiness in the background it's like a sweet cedar but dark like dark sweet cedar with rose and some fruity notes in the background this one it's beast mode it's an absolute beast um and i feel like it's just not appropriate for the summertime so this one is gonna come later on but i just wanted to mention it so here in case you live somewhere else and you can uh, find it on a different website you need to try this it's it's a beast, okay? And the other one that I had to... Number six. Number six, again, standard presentation. Let me put the box down. This one has cedar as well. But... This one starts... See, this is weird because when you first spray it, it's very strong on the cedar and you might think that it's more like a fall winter fragrance but leave it for two seconds and then you're gonna get yeah, uh, white flowers you're gonna get fruits and you're gonna get coconut it's amazing and it's a beast as well it's definitely not as dark and intense as Sony uh, but number six is this sexy dark but still sweet and fruity and coconutty like the dry down on it's on this one it's amazing it's so sick it's so sexy listen to me you have no idea how sexy this fragrance is especially in the dry down which matters the most like you're gonna be left with the dry down it's sexy does he have some amber as well I'm not sure. I think it has some amber as well. It's so sexy. It's like, hmm. It gives you that effect, you know. Uh, you need to try this. It's just amazing. Uh, Cupid number six. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on because that fragrance just, whoo. It's something, okay. That fragrance is something. Uh, okay, we have three left. Only three? Yes, I think only three. Zaharov 
Coco Loco. Uh, I know that Greta has been raving about, about this fragrance and she purchased like, what, five bottles? Um, I couldn't because they don't ship to the UK at the moment, but I found a partial bottle. Someone was selling it and immediately I had to buy it. Coco Loco, it was obviously a blind buy. I love it. I love it. Honestly, I think it has pineapple as well, but I don't smell any pineapple. What I'm getting, it's coconut, like lime, and then it, I know it has vanilla, but I'm getting more like sugar. It's, it starts extremely fresh, and you might think, mm, this is unisex, this is quite maybe a bit masculine, but give it five minutes, and it's getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter, and it's like, it's like lemon it's like sweet lemonade with coconut like this is what i'm getting it's delicious it's um oh it's delicious and amazing but delicious in a fresh way um in a fun way it's not like literally gourmand like thick dark gourmand i love it i love it this is my second bottle from zaharov i got of the immortals the collaboration with andrea from curly scents i love that one as well uh, i purchased obviously both of them so I'm just, I'm just like impressed, very, very impressed with this brand. I'm hoping I can get them on my website as well, because you need to smell them because they're just, they're just good. They are just good. I need to try more. I want to try more. Okay. Um, but yeah, this one is their newest release and it's, it's, I think it's limited edition. Why? Why make this permanent? Is that good? It's, it's good. Like I thought I don't need any more summer fragrances. But I definitely, I needed this. Like, I definitely needed this because it's just that amazing. Anyway, Zaharov, Coco Loco. Um, and actually, this one's like, you are getting the bottle with a different cap. Like, you just don't know what cap you're getting. Mine is purple, which I'm super happy because purple is my favorite color, in case you didn't know. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this one. Uh, last two, last two fragrances. Both of them are from the same brand. One is going to be very spring summer the other one is going to be very uh fall winter the first one i talked about this one in the past it's from accenture and this one is onwards to seville uh their boxes just like plain boxes like this uh, but they have like very nice artwork and obviously the box is gonna match the bottle and this is another niche house that is not that expensive onwards to seville it's i split my finger it's a beautiful white floral perfume it's creamy it's sweet you literally have neroli orange blossom jasmine super rose it's just a mix of all of them you think you're getting some mandarin orange as well and then it has something correct the flowers are creamy that's sweet it's just you know that beautiful still fun young type of fragrance but it smells expensive like sometimes white flowers can smell a bit mature like not, not mature it can smell a bit old you, do you know what i mean like i love white flowers but you're gonna have some perfumes that really smell old uh another case with this one this smells like super young and fun and expensive in the same time and it's creamy i love i love the fact that it's, it's creamy it's nothing harsh in it love it uh, i already spoke about this one in a previous video and the other one uh, that took me by surprise because i've tested the sample that i had again i was like this is good from accenture again sands of time again you have the artwork on the bottle and on the box this is not necessarily my type of fragrance because it's very unisex and it's a very warm it makes sense like sand it literally smells like you're walking on sand and then it has frankincense it has what else does it have ambergris i believe it definitely has ambergris or amber something like that it has a little bit of patchouli it has a bit of tonka i believe because it's i don't know how to explain to you it's quite dry, but it still has an unisex 
it's a bit aromatic from that patchouli it's not a dirty patchouli it just gives this perfume an aromatic touch it's very warm so it, you literally it feels like you're walking on sand okay like burning sand and then at the same time it has a creaminess I don't know how to explain it. You just need to try it. Like if the previous one, uh, Honors to Seville, it's, it was way easier to explain. This one, it's such a complex unisex fragrance that, and it's bismuth. I wore this one, I, I took a picture of it and I completely forgot to post it on my Instagram. I wore this one uh, like last week to work and I got compliments with it. Even though, like I said, it's a more slightly more masculine leaning fragrance i still got compliments so do you know what i mean like i really like it it's more fall winter uh here in manchester you you never know what to wear literally now it's sunny literally right now it's sunny but i can see some like gray clouds so probably it's gonna start to rain because this morning it was raining again so probably soon it is gonna rain again you literally don't know so one day i'm um, um i'm wearing Coco Loco, like super fun lemon coconut. And the other day I have to wear frankincense and patchouli because this weather is just all over the place. Anyway, I'm gonna stop with the brand. It's good, it's good, it's good. You need to try it, you need to try it. This is that type of fragrance that is not gonna be for everyone, but as soon as you, if, if it is for you, you're gonna be like, this is amazing, this is fantastic. It's very balsamic as well makes sense from the uh, frankincense but it's very balsamic it gives you that type of fragrance if that makes any sense so the last perfume that we have in here is from Accenture and this one is Sands of Time and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below uh, if you tested any of these fragrances we are done we are finally done I'm so happy Whew! like I, I really I'm really looking forward to record these videos but then when i know that i have to talk about 15 fragrances i'm just like oh no oh no i'm not sure if i'm ready for this but it's all done let me know in the comments down below okay if you tested any of these if you like them if you don't and all of that obviously i'm gonna put the names links everything in the description box and yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you guys in my next video Bye bye